Interesting. Okay, I think, um, you know, like, a lot of people have, I mean, I think it's, it's valid. There are levels of consciousness. I mean, generally, God's will is in the interest of the highest good of all concerned. So, um, so it then, uh, then it's a, you know, if you can do muscle testing, it then tells you exactly what's the right balance between uh, what is perceived as self and others. Now, sometimes it's like if you look after yourself, you know, there can be like something from the collective consciousness, like you're selfish to look after yourself. You should just spend your whole life serving others. But, um, and again, that, that is found through, I mean, it's very, very complex. It depends what one's spiritual lessons are. So some people are coming from more places of um, just thinking of oneself all the time and never thinking of others, in which case it's often quite good for a period. In the interest of the highest good, that they focus on serving others and not thinking about themselves. And sometimes it's the other way around. But that can be found through muscle testing. But I do, I would say, of course, that comes through as intuitive guidance, whether you should, like, like you know, I'm sort of looking after my father at the moment. Now, I could, like, ask, uh, I could sort of say, God did not create uh, exhaustion in myself, so it's not real. I could spend like three hours, I could spend like eight hours today just doing God did not create exhaustion in severe, so it's not real. Or I could do like eight hours of God did not create uh, back pain and rib pain in my father, so it's not real. So now if I just spend the whole eight hours looking after my father and do God, God did not create it, is that that the best thing to do, or is it, and not to do anything to for my own health, or because that would be selfish to 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 say God did not create exhaustion in severe. So these things are intuitively you get intuitive guidance. You know sometimes it can seem from spirit that you know it, you know the body needs to have some some uh, some attention on cancelling beliefs or prayer or feeling the feelings of the observer, just to release it from picking up stuff so it can be of service in, in, the, in, in the world. And sometimes it might be the right thing not to do that and just to, and just to you know, be a channel for others. So it's intuitive, but um, generally speaking, you know, another way is if you can, you know, for service, it's like your body also is a barometer like the muscle testing. So if you're doing something and getting weaker, generally speaking, a good gauge is um, strength. Um, when you when one is doing um, when one is doing things and the body is getting stronger, uh, generally speaking, it's a good sign. If you're doing things and the body is getting weaker, it would tend to be a sign that one is going against life uh, or God's will. Because, you know, so sometimes there can be bad programs or not enough spiritual intuition. And so the ego is making its best assumption. But then if the ego makes its best assumption and you're getting weaker and weaker, I would be careful. Because generally the course of action which creates greater strength, you know, in alignment with spirit and service is, is, is the right course. So sometimes one can be... Can I just say something about yeah? it? Yeah. Because I've been... Um, well, you know that I look after my mom when I yes. go to Spain. Um, and lately, for the last months, you know, I was just feeling a bit exhausted about, you know, uh, although I got quite a lot of freedom, you know, but still it's a big body and it needs, you know, uh, quite a lot of attention and uh, she needs attention as well. You have to be for there, so it sucks quite a lot of energy as well, you know, so. My mind goes through, although I love to do it because it's my mum and I do it with love, you know, still uh, my mind tends to go to the idea that, um, that this is a sacrifice, you know, and um, sacrificing my life, you know, for her, you know, I'm wasting my time and my life, you know, just for her. And, and it all becomes very heavy in a way, you know, and, uh, and then, you know, I did manage to switch that, uh, you know, that thought, you know, something happens to me, there was a switch, and now when I do it, I do it just um, in a completely different way, you know, there is, it's like, you know, just, I feel the energy myself and I give it to her, rather than before she was just taking the energy from me, you know, now, it's just, yeah, exactly, it's, it's just um, beautiful, you know, when there is that change and then, you know, 
I don't know, everything is lighter now somehow, you know, there is the idea of sacrifice is just gone. I totally, totally agree. That's that's lovely, and th that that happens when you're doing the Course in Miracles because you're applying them all the time, and you're interview mm. applying. So that that's that, thank you for bringing that. So like when whenever in every situation, a lot of unconscious belief systems may come up in each, and especially with family members, a lot of stuff can come up. Mm. So, but also part of the collective belief systems like certain things are, you know, we in the collective there are belief systems like doing this type of thing is exhausting, or whatever it is. We, like most of us have got pr these programs in the unconscious. Especially with family members, one can have so many triggers coming up as one is trying to be of, of service. So, if you're just uh, applying your lesson of the day, sometimes it will clear. And sometimes the Holy Spirit will say, like, you've got a sacrifice program going on. Like, and so sacrifice means you're going to be drained and tired and exhausted. Mm. So if you cancel that or pray for a miracle to see sacrifice differently, suddenly it disappears and there's infinite energy now mm. to go forward. Um, and so that you've cleared that. You know, for myself, you know, with my mother, it was like, so all these things would come up, all these belief systems would come up, and then it's clearing it through the course. Canceling beliefs, praying for a miracle to see it differently, I place... Also these ideas, I mean, spirit is infinite energy, but if anything is coming up at the same time, it blocks the energy flow. Mm -hmm. So then you, either you have to take time out or put it on a big prayer list or cancel this or pray for a miracle to see that different. Once it's dissolved, it no longer has an effect so that the infinite energy can, can flow through it. So absolutely, that's a good point. Ultimately, if there was no ego, there'd be infinite energy in every moment, in every second. So whenever there's draining or exhaustion, then some kind of programming is going on, which is blocking the connection to the infinite source. Um, so, and that's a great example, yeah. So you can go from exhaustion, and then you clear it, and then there's no exhaustion. You just have to, like, it's like investigation. Best prayer, pray, for a Holy, pray to the Holy Spirit, reveal to me, and impress upon my mind uh, the blocks or the programs which are coming up, which are blocking the flow and, and something will pop into your mind eventually or just uh, pray for a miracle to see it in truth and that those blocks sometimes there can be multiple programs because you know just to be a human being and in this collective society there's so many programs one needs to 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 just one is 